Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In the last video, I've shown you how you can change the permissions of the file using chmod in Linux. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can change the permissions of the directories in uh, Linux using chmod and what are the consequences of uh, changing the directory permissions. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have a directory called dir on my desktop. So I will change my directory to uh, desktop first of all. And I will do the long listing of this directory. So here I will just use L and D because it's a directory. And then the directory name which is dir, right? And press enter. And in here you can see the file permissions. Now in the last video as I have shown you this first letter shows the type of file or directory so because it's a directory it's showing D here. Next three uh, values here is the permissions of the user and next three is the permission of the group and the next three uh, is the permissions of uh, everyone else right. Now let's change the permission of uh, this directory for the user so that uh, we will uh, you know reduce the write capability of the user for example i will just write ch mod here and then i will do user minus w which means we are uh, you know subtracting the write permission from the user and the directory name okay so just press enter and then i will do the long listing once again and now we can see the user doesn't have the right permission so now you can see there is a lock symbol appears on the directory right so because it doesn't have the right permission that's why this lock symbol appears so let's say we want to ls the content of the directory so i will just do ls dir for example it shows that this directory has three files right and let's say I will just change to the directory so I will go inside the directory and I will do ls here and in here for example I want to create a new file for example file 4 so what I will do is I will just use a touch command and I will just write file 4 here so I want to create a fourth file here and when I press enter you can see it says permission denied because we have uh, you know taken the right permissions from the user so he cannot create any new file inside the directory right now for example i will uh, just go out one step back one directory back to the desktop and now i will just uh, once again give the permissions to the user so write permission i'm uh, just providing so user plus uh, w which once again will provide the right permission to the user and then this time i want to take the read permission from the user okay so i have uh, added the write permission once again and i want to subtract the read permission from the user so let's see what happens when we do this so just write chmod u minus r which will subtract the uh, read permission from the user for the directory and let's do the long listing here just do this long listing and you can see the read permission is uh, taken from the user now right now i will once again go to the directory inside the directory for example so i will do cd dir and we can go inside the directory but when we do ls here you see it says permission denied so we cannot read the content of the directory we can go inside the directory and we know that uh, this directory contains three files but because we have taken the read permissions from the user we cannot read the content of the directory okay so this is when we change or uh, we, when we take the read permissions from the user. So once again, I will provide the read permissions to the user. So chmod u plus r, which will once again give the read permission to the user for this directory. And uh, it says uh, this directory. Okay, first of all, I need to go to desktop. So change directory to the desktop and then provide this command. Okay. 
and once again I will do long listing of this uh, directory so ls minus uh, ld directory and now we have the read permission also for the user now this time what I want to do is let's take the execute permissions from the user for example so I will just do chmod then user minus x for the directory right and press enter and once again I will do the long listing so ls minus uh, ld for the directory and you can see the execute permissions from the user is taken right so now what I will do once again I will uh, try to uh, go inside the directory which is uh, dir and it says permission denied right so I cannot execute uh, anything with this directory so let's do ls with directory and press enter and this also gives us uh, the permission denied right so it uh, shows the content of the file but access to this files is not possible right so you cannot even go inside the directory so uh, you know you cannot access the content of the file so for example I, I will do ls minus l long listing of uh, the directory and you can see everywhere it shows the question mark but it shows uh, the names of the file but the permissions uh, it's not showing because you don't have the permission to see even the permissions of uh, the files inside this directory because we have taken the execute permissions from this directory so this is how uh, you can change the permissions of the directory and this is how the changing of the permissions of the directory behaves uh, so this is the consequences so if you uh, you know remove the execute permissions uh, you cannot uh, you know change the files and uh, you cannot even view the permissions of the file so I hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now